seen this story. It's about a police officer in Utah. And the story was out there that he had. Oh, by the way, uh, the Washington Times picked up some of my comments on Allah being a demon god and my comments about uh, my criticism of interfaith services. That's on the Washington Times today. That was kind of curious. Now, anyway, uh, you might have seen this story about the, the cop in Salt Lake City. They're having a gay pride parade there. And according to what the police department said, he had refused duty. And they suspended him. Now, the police officer, his attorney has come out and said, look, that is not the way that this thing went down at all. He did not refuse to serve. He was happy to serve in traffic control. He was happy to serve on patrol. He was happy to serve in other ancillary police duties. But the role that they assigned to him was to be part of the motor team that was the vanguard of the parade. I'm assuming these probably were motorcycles. So the motorcycles were going to be out in front of the parade. They were going to be leading the charge. And maybe they were expecting these cops to wave rainbow flags as a sign of solidarity. And they that was the post that was assigned. That was the job that was assigned to this uh, policeman. And he went to his supervisors and said, look, uh, I'm a Christian or I don't know what his faith is. This is based on his religious convictions. Maybe he's a devout Mormon. Anyway, the point is he had very sincere and deeply held religious convictions that marriage is exclusively the union of one man and one woman and that homosexuality is not a lifestyle that ought to be celebrated, and it's not. No rational culture ever should celebrate homosexuality. It's, it's, a, it's a path to disease. It's a path to an early death. I mean, it is so... Contrary to every concept of public health, we should we should make homosexual behavior contrary to public policy just because we care about public health. We don't want to see our citizens exposed to the ravages of what homosexual behavior does to human health. But anyway, he had objections to it, moral objections, sincerely held religious objections to being the leader. I, you know, anybody looking at that guy out in front, they're going to think this guy's leading the parade. They're going to think he supports what's going on here. And he said, look, that, that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm, that bothers my conscience. I'm glad to serve in some kind of backup role, but I don't want to be out in front creating the impression that I support all this. And for that, he was suspended. And uh, so lies were told about him, that he refused duty, that he was willing to sacrifice uh, public safety uh, because he was such a bigot. In fact, the... Spokesman for the police department said about cashiering this guy, we don't tolerate bias and bigotry in the department. To allow personal opinion to enter into whether an officer will take a post is not something that can be tolerated in a police department. So in other words, she says, we don't tolerate bias and bigotry unless we can direct it against a Christian. But the Salt Lake City Police Department is saying, to its officers, if you agree with God, if you agree with Christ about marriage and about human sexuality, we are going to land on you like a falling safe. So who are the bigots here? Who are the ones that are being the intolerant ones? It's the Salt Lake City Police Department. They're the ones that are being the intolerant bigots and bullies. Now you think about this. If they had a KKK parade coming to town and... Do you think that the police chief would allow a black officer to say, look, I'd prefer not to be leading this parade if it's okay with you? Do you think a police chief would turn him down and accuse him of being a bigot? Or if it was a Jewish officer and they had some kind of Nazi revival parade in town and the Jewish officer came to the police chief and said, look, I'm really not comfortable being out in front looking like I'm leading this parade. Would it be okay if I had another role? I think there's no question. Human decency would say, sure. We'll give you some other role uh, to play. And I actually wonder if maybe this police officer, he's been there seven years, so they knew of his convictions, if they assigned him to this post just in order to make life difficult for him, knowing that he would chafe against this assignment. So it's like, here's the deviancy cabal. They say, okay, you got a problem with homosexuality. We are going to stick it in your face. We're going to force you to choke on it. We are going to drown you in pro-homosexual uh, uh, propaganda. 
So you start saying, look, this is another one of those occupations now that looks like it's going to be off limits to Christians. So here's my hope. He's retained a lawyer. I hope he sues Salt Lake. What they've done is illegal and unconstitutional. You cannot in Utah engage in employment discrimination against an employee on the basis of his religion. That's exactly what they've done. They ought to be made to pay. Back in two.